Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Photo Effects Photoshop Action. So let's go ahead and open up our Action Palette. Let's go up to Window and choose Actions. And what we're going to do is we're going to load our action. So come up to these three bars up here in the right, click on them, and let's go to Load Actions. And then we're going to navigate to our action, and it happens to be right here. So I'm going to double click on that, and that will populate in my action palette. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that folder, click on Photo Effects, and let's hit the play button. And what this will do is it will play the action for us. Uh, first, th first thing it's going to do is ask you if you have an image open. So if you don't have an Im image open, you're going to hit Stop and you're going to go open up your image. If you've already got an image open like we do here, we're just going to hit continue and we're going to let this action play out. So what this is going to do is it's going to make a few different layers um, that you'll be able to adjust um, for, your, for your own um, composition. So we'll have some stylized effect, it'll then give us some sharpening layers and a contrast layer, and then it's going to allow us to put some highlights in. So basically now it's telling us that um, the action's been rendered and to go ahead and just sort of follow these steps. So I'm going to show you these steps right now. So I'm going to hit stop. And you can see that he is um, definitely, I'm going to close up this action palette here. You can tell that he's uh, definitely got some nice effects on there now, but I think they're a little bit strong. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the stylized effect folder. And so we'll come down to the stylized effect first. Now if I turn it on and off, you'll see the difference. Okay, so I think that stylized effect, um, it's at 100% opacity. Why don't we bring that down to about, let's try about 50, just so that it's not so harsh. And then our contrast, let's try turning that on and off and see what kind of effect we have here. I think I like the contrast uh, where it's at, and that's also at 50%. And then we've got a sharpening effect on this image, now on this layer. Now I'm going to try turning that on and off so that you can see the difference. And the sharpening really does make quite a difference here. So this is going to be, you know, to your taste. I've got it set at 50 here. I think I'm going to bring it to 25. And then let's go ahead and close up the stylized effect. Um, and I'm going to turn that off and then back on. And I, I like where that's going. So our last option here is just to paint in some highlights. So we're going to choose the mask layer here, which is the black layer. Uh, we have a, our brush selected. You're going to want to make sure that it's a soft brush. So just go pick, the soft, go pick a soft round brush. And we're painting with white. So this is going to bring back um, some of your highlights. So let's just zoom in here a little bit. So what I'm mainly interested in is bringing back um, in his eyes. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Um, my brush opacity is at 20%. And I like painting with a low opacity because then you can just sort of build your, um, you can build your layers. So let's just come in mm -hmm. here and start painting just a little bit. We want to bring in just those catch lights in his eyes. So I think that looks pretty good right there. And then let's just go ahead and just make sure and hit on the uh, white highlight there, make sure that's very bright. And let's do the same thing on this eye. We're just, just going to go ahead and we're going to bring it back in some of those, uh, the catch lights there, and just really kind of make sure that highlight is good. And <clears throat> then I might make my brush a little bit bigger and just lightly go over the whites of his eyes. We don't want it to be too awful much. But we might just touch those just a little bit. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. And if we <clears throat> turn off our highlights, just keep your uh, keep a look at his eyes. We'll turn them off and then back on. And you can see that that really makes a dramatic difference in the eyes. And you can go ahead and you can paint in any highlights here. I mean, there may be some folds, you know, that you want to sort of pick up in the in you know in the jerseys. Um, that's all going to be to taste. That's entirely up to you. Maybe you want to bring back a little bit you know, on the hand here so we can just sort of paint some of that. 
back in anywhere that you want to <clears throat> add some highlights. Um, and then, you know, you can work with the stylized effect layer again, you know, if you like that overall and think it's pretty good, but maybe you want to bring down the opacity of that entire group, you can do that as well. So we could say come in here and set that at 75%. And then if we zoom in on this at 100% and we turn off both of our effects, this is your original, and this is with the paint effects. And what a dramatic difference that is. Go ahead and have some fun with this action. Mm -hmm.